I say foolishness. Hey guys, this morning we're going to try something a little bit different. You're going to join me on my morning activities as we get ready. It's like the vlog before the vlog. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tidy up Remy's room, tidy up Remy's bathroom and then I'm going to bathe. So yeah. Alright, we are getting ready. I got this dress off of Amazon. I'm going to see if it fits. It looks like it's a lot of belly out. And then we're gonna put on some makeup and try and cover that, <laughs> my new friend. <laughs> so sweet to drop by, <laughs> you know, during um, Tuesday, my content filming day. So yeah, let's see how this dress looks. Okay, this is not too bad. This is not too bad. It has a cutout for the stomach hair and a ruching hair. I mean, it's a little bit, a lot of stomach out for like the beginning of the week. But okay, we'll make it work, we'll make it work. I love the color ombre. Yeah, right. All right, everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to be doing, okay, we're going to be packing for a little trip that I'm going on. But before I start doing all of that, I'm going to get ready. So um, I hope now the two videos not look too bad at all. So I bathed the kids, I sent them downstairs, they're with their dad. Um, I just went and rinsed out their bath, packed away their towels to be washed, and then what else have I done? Then I bathe. So right now I'm going to just put on some makeup and comb up my hair. And then after that I'm going to set up my camera and everything a little bit differently so you can see a bit more of my closet and I'm going to look for my clothes and I'm going to pack and I'm going to show you how I pack. But first, it's some makeup. So Remy needs to go to the dermatologist. She has this rash. Oh, same time, same time. Mm -mm. You see, you see, I have, to, I have to talk, I'm working out. Anyway, Reshi, 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 my daughter Reshi. Reshi has a rash on her arms and um, the, at first I thought it was eczema, but it's been there for a very, very long time and it's not moving. It could be um, a steroid cream. It could be a little hydrocortisone. It could be, um, I was using beef tallow. So I've gone from... Um, natural medicines all the way to a steroid and it hasn't moved sometimes it gets worse sometimes it goes down but it never quite goes away so her pediatrician recommended that I take her to a um, pediatric dermatologist because she's saying it might be a viral rash which means that it doesn't trouble her but it's something that will just take about it takes up to nine months to go away and I can't recall exactly when Remy got it so I'm just gonna check it out and also Remy has some little white patches on the back of her legs and um, I've seen one come up on her arm and I'm not sure if she has vitiligo, my sister has vitiligo so I'm just going to, want to take her to the dermatologist to check it out so I'm just getting the number for the dermatologist now and I'm going to call and see when I can next get an appointment just to monitor Remy's skin condition I mean vitiligo is not the worst thing in the world um, it won't necessarily trouble her, it will just be a physical thing that you know she's probably going to get teased and bullied for Someone famous who has vitiligo is Winnie Harlow and you can see where her pigment is kind of leaving her skin in patches. I really hope Remy doesn't have that but as I said it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, but you know you just you just don't want any kind of illness for your child. So I'm going to call the dermatologist, going to get her an appointment and of course I'll keep you up to date. Right now I'm going to do my, my, my makeup. Makeup is done. Okay, now I'm going to do my hair. Um, I washed it the other night and I just combed it out. It's messages. Um, I think I'm just gonna put it in my regular two braids and oil my scalp. So let me get some things that I need. Wow! Okay guys, I'm all dressed and ready and let's get to packing. No, I still look clean. I look clean? 
Okay, so when I'm packing to go anywhere, it could just be to, you know, a little um, country weekend or whether it's to overseas. I have a book and this is, I want to show off, I said the third book, but I think it's just the second. I have a five subject notebook and in this book, I have all my past trips and everything that I've ever packed. I remember there was a time where my friend Crystal found this book and she laughed me to scorn. And you know what? I guess it is kind of extra, but it ensures I have anxiety and it ensures that I, I don't leave anything behind because I can always search back to like past, like they say, a beach vacation. And I can look and see all the things that I needed the last time and it will kind of be like, hey, remember um, I was didn't have my SPF, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I should pack it this time. I don't know. I just, I just like having this book to pack and I like ticking off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at a past beach trip, which I did a couple of Media Cayman Carnival 2019, Canada, Miami, Portage, July 2019, Canada again, what Miami, December 2019, Trinidad Carnival 2020. I think you guys helped me pack for that one, eh? Um, now we have okay, here's a country trip. Easter 2021, Henrique's family weekend, and then I actually have a print off of everything that I need for the kids. And then what I will do is, as I'm packing things and remembering, I'll write it on this paper. And then the next time I'm packing for them, I'll look and be like, oh, I wrote this. Let me type it onto my list, um, just to, to, to see. So I'm gonna use a past list from the last trip that I made to pack. So, <clears throat> how I do it is I have three columns and then at the top I always put where I'm going and the, the year or the date just so that I can remember. Just leave me alone. Okay. So while I'm lining up my paper, um, I'm also going to use just a Clorox wipe and I'm going to wipe my countertop here because this is where I'm going to be putting uh, my clean clothes, my cosmetic bags, and I just want to make sure it's clean, especially like how I just did my makeup here, so there may, may be a little bit of powder deposit, and I don't want any of my clothes or cosmetic bags to get stained. I don't know if you can like hear how my voice sounds. I, I guess a little trembly. Packing for me, I, like I love to pack, but I get a little anxious that I'm going to not have enough time to pack, or I'm going to forget something, and I just get a little. I get a little crazy. The rule for me is that I must pack the clear weekend before the trip. So what that means is, um, this is so weird. I'm a weirdo, eh? So this would mean that if I'm leaving on a Monday, it would not mean that I'm packing that weekend right before. It would mean that I'm packing the weekend before that. So I have to have a clear weekend that I can pack. Um, while I'm packing, I also have a notebook to the side here. And what I will do is I'll write down all the things that I'll need to get at the pharmacy. So if I need any, usually I need Panadol or I need just little what's it not it stuff. I will write it there and then I'll take my list with me to the pharmacy or on the road if I need to get whatever. So I'm just going to wipe off my counter. I'm going to redo my list and I'm going to go through what's on my list and maybe it can help you next time you're packing. I know this is a little bit extra and crazy with how I pack and my lists, but I like lists and I really do think I have like an, I wouldn't say it's an anxiety problem because I do know that there are people who have worse anxiety than me. Um, but anytime it has anything to do with preparation or just anything like that, I just get really worried and anxious and is it going to go right and am I packing the right things and you know, did I leave anything? So it just kind of helps me to be prepared and try and stay, I, I'm never sane but it just, it just helps me. So actually, watch me wipe. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, we're gonna finish up with our cosmetics. You know, every time I pass, I'll just pack a couple of things and check it off from the list. What I will do, I actually, my other large cosmetic case, it came apart. So I got a new one here. Um, I wanted to make sure that one, it could hang up, just so that when, um, wherever I go, I can hang it up in the bathroom and have access to all of my um, things. And I wanted a large cosmetic case because I wanted to make sure that it could feel fit full-size bottles 
so my shampoo my conditioner and stuff like that because I can't use no little bit of conditioner to come out this head so this will be my cosmetic bag this is my makeup pouch I've had this for many years I will wipe this out first with just a um, Lysol wipe just to get out any little makeup out of there this is one of the pouches that I had from before and it just has like things in there maybe I'm no, I don't want to use it as my makeup. So it just has things like brush to make sure that makeup doesn't go all over the place. There's my toothbrush cover. So these are the things I may need to help me pack. And I'm going to try and use packing cubes. I've never used packing cubes before for myself. So I got myself a pack of packing cubes and I'm going to do that. But let's go through outfits and yeah, let's try some stuff on. All right, just going through my little overnight bags and what I will take. And because it's just me and no kids, I will probably be able to fit all of my things in this cool little um, Louis Vuitton, I don't know what kind of bag this is. But I've been dying to use it since I got it and I can't, be, well not that I can't, but I haven't been able to because, you know, the kids just always have so much stuff. So I'm hoping me for a weekend alone, I can have this. So can I take this bag? One of the things I love the most is this luggage stand here. It's really helped me. My friend gave, gave it to me. They were selling out some old things. They were refurbishing or renovating. She owns a hotel. And I called and asked her if I could buy one and she gave it to me. And honestly, this is one of the most amazing gifts I've ever gotten. Um, also, I got a new beach bag. This one holds a ton load. So I guess because I'm going to the beach, but I'll also pack this as well because if I go by the pool, it ha it's that scuba material. So if I go by the pool, I can always put my slippers, my, um, what you call it, SPFs, my towel, all in here. So anything that can't fit in the little Louis Vuitton bag can go in here as spillover. So those are my two bags. And I have this little hat. Oh, I love this hat. So I just wear it down by the pool. I just got this hat one time. And it's tight on, so it doesn't matter what um, hairstyle I have in. It's my friend's 50th birthday and she has rented a villa and she has invited a couple of us just to celebrate with her. It's actually close family so it would be the same people basically that were at Remy's birthday. So in case anybody wanted to like, you know, get at me in the comments, you don't have to. So for Saturday, it's resort where by the pool. We're going to be having a few drinks. So I want to look at my outfit choices. Alright, so let's try on, first thing, let's try this on. Excitement, no, yes, Lord Father. Okay, so here we have option one. This is a little dress, little dress with ruching at the side. You see, because it's all one pattern, you can't really see what's going on, you know. So it has there's ruching at the sides here with like a tight skirt, and then the top now is kind of baggy with baggy sleeves so this would be option number one mm, okay. and then under it I have the matching swimsuit but then sometimes you just too matchy matchy so I was thinking the same kind of style thing that I just had on but in black and then you would be able to see I'm too old. Right? Then you'd be able to see like make a contrast, like you know the swimsuit is a different color from the see? Like same ruching at the side with the shorts. I can put the shorts up a little bit higher. You know? a fan of one or two. Okay, let's get out something else. Alright, so where is that green wrap dress? So every time I leave the country like or I use a swimsuit, I wash it, I dry it thoroughly and I just put it in a plastic bag. Um I guess it keeps the two pieces together and I don't know why. I just want to put them in a plastic bag. So I have this green wrap dress. What would I put under it? Can this be? No, 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 no. Um, this 
the brown right? This actually will look really nice with it. Okay. I don't like this try on try on something, you know. I'll definitely take this swimsuit with me because I like how it fits and also this part here I usually tie around my back. So it's like a bandeau, it's like getting a tan line. So I'll take that. Alright, let's try on option number three. Option number three. We have a multicolored bikini and over is this green wrap. This bikini is giving me all kind of like super boob though. I like the wrap. It has, it's um, about to my knees and it has this tie here so that if I start getting a little bit of bloat, just gives a little bit of distraction on the stomach area. Um, I like the wrap, I don't like the swimsuit underneath. I'm gonna be doing this the whole entire day. But see the swimsuit has that, let's see if I can show. See that whole like nice little print in the earth tone colors to, mm, not happy, not happy. Mm -hmm. I think I found it, I think I found it. Well, hello, welcome to the party. So I've worn this pink dress before over a different swimsuit and I felt really sexy when I wore it. Like I just like it, it's just like, I don't know, I don't know, I like it. And then I paired it with this pink swimsuit and it has diamantes on the bust and then diamantes on the strap here and I just feel like I really like it I really really like it I think I look good I feel comfortable like I'm sure I'm gonna be hauling it down every now and then what shoes would I wear with this what does one wear oh I have neon oh those aren't for the pool though can't these go with it these are pink too no this no this outfit no this outfit this you know those are really really hot Jamaican girls that go to um, like those beach parties and have on Gucci slippers and I'm just like, they wear Gucci to the beach? That's what I look like right now. Okay, in a Jamaican girl's hand dress, I feel, like, I feel like I'm in that league. I guess it's by the pool, so okay, I can wear, okay. I think this is a winner. I definitely think this is a winner. No, so, no, so, Dr. Daz, what we're saying? What we're saying, Dr. Daz? No, so. Okay. I think this is it. the only thing that I don't love about this outfit is that the, the bikini top is so small that if I push it up to cover the nipples, my under boob is out. Um, but I don't think you really notice it all that much. It's a little dressy. Um, I know I'm not the birthday girl, but I find I always dress like a skittle, so I don't see why this would be a problem. If it was white, I definitely would not wear it because that's like birthday girl color. But I think this can go on. No, look at that man. That's the end of the show. Okay, all right, where the pink shoes? Okay, I think that's it. I do want to pack like a backup option. So I'm gonna try on one more swimsuit and outfit that I actually got out here and I really, really like. I just think that I'll be adjusting it um, too much, but I'm gonna pack it as an option. Maybe I'll pack it and, you know, my friend can take a picture of me and I post on the gram. So let's, so this is, this is a winner. This is a winner. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking. Did I choose the right one? What do you think, what do you think? No so, no so. You see when you eat a lot of patty, go straight to your patty. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> okay, the day that Loud Fashion posted this, I thought I was going to have a cardiac arrest if I did not get it. I'm very sorry to all the staff at Loud Fashion if I was being a diva because I was just like, where's that set? I need it now. Who can bring that to me? I'm coming for it now. And they were like, oh, what size is it? No, 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 I need the small. They're like, no, well, we don't, the small is gone. I was like, get it back. They think I'm crazy and it's okay. And then I didn't even wear it for the weekend and it's so nice. So it is a, it's a one piece. It hooks up in the, this <laughs> is supposed to be a family station. So we have this hair and it comes with a wrap which is really nice. So the swimsuit and then the wrap. However, I just feel like if I was to wear this, I would constantly be fixing and fixing. So I just don't think this would be a good option for like a beach, um, a pool party, just because I'm constantly fixing and feeling a little um, self-conscious. Like even now, I just feel like, like it's a little naked, it's a little naked, you know? 
So I think this is a great option for a picture shoot. Maybe I'd wear it at a beach party, I don't know. So, but I did get this out here. Love Fashion has some really nice things. Every time they post, I want something. And every time I want something, I have to get it now. Right, Love Fashion? They know I'm crazy, it's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna, I have my option and for a backup option, I'm going to take the, let's get a backup option for the pool party. Let's get a backup option. This, this wasn't it. There's something with the neon pink. Okay, just in case I get there and I show off my sexy little pink outfit and they're like, oh, and well, it was more like, you know, casual or not so sexy. Whatever, if you invite me somewhere, just know I'm coming dressed as like a hoe. Anyway, I have this um, romper, same neon pink, and I do believe it's more like a pool or a beach vibe because it has like this swimsuit lining in it. So I think this is really cool and this would be a, like a less sexier option and I can cut down on the amount of shoes that I bring because it would still match with the same neon pink Gucci's. Packing has made me out of breath, okay? So now I think I have two excellent options. I have my beachside pink diamond swimsuit with the sheer cover-up, which I love. I think it's super sexy. However, if it's a little too sexy for the occasion, then I have this, which I think is great. This is so cute. I'm now going to... No. Why am I so out of breath? Okay. So now that we have our party options, let's look for other things. So while I'm over here, I'm going to take the little leopard swimsuit and I'll take the and I'll take the leopard dress. The same um the same style swimsuit. I don't know, I really like that style. It's bandos over my um as I said it bandoed. The same that's not leopard, it's cheetah. Leopard, cheetah, what is this? Who, who is this? Which animal is this? Cheeto. Cheeto? The leopard. Cheeto leopard. Lepshard. So I'll take this swimsuit and this wrap. And then the same brand. So it's the same cut of swimsuit that just goes across. Like so. Should I try this one, Anzel? This show. I don't usually, you know, usually my viewers are female and I'm sure they're here for like, you know, mom help or tips or jokes. And this show has been about me just gallivanting in my closet trying on sexy clothes. But it's because it's like a beach weekend, you know, if I was packing for Alaska, I'd be showing you my jackets. So I'm gonna show you the style swimsuit that of late I really like. And then after that, let's pack swimsuits. I have my party outfit and then let's move on to like casual day stuff, what I wear in the day after I made our Friday, what I put on. So, hey guys, come back after the break. I'll have this on. Please make sure to drop a subscribe. Ladies, ladies, just, just let me have a little moment now. I'm gonna try get, I'm gonna try get the subscriber then, you know? All right, so this will be an outfit for by the pool Sunday before I drive back in. Um, if I want to hang out by the pool, but I do like having a wrap for my swimsuits just simply because, you know, if we're having lunch or whatever, or we're going for a little walk or whatever it may be, I do like to be able to cover up, <laughs> even though this is sheer, you know. So as I said, this had the um, ruching at the sides, I could make it short or long. You know, we're in a bikini, so let's just get a little. This is a type of swimsuit that I like. It has a strap here that if I want, it can go around my neck and be a bandeau. Um, to give me more support, but while I'm tanning, oh wait, the, in the what do you call it? The little the lining is giving me a, a ruffle. So, and then it comes with a very very skimpy bikini bottom. All right, so this will be packed with me. I'll have my swimsuit and my wrap. I'll have my cheetah swimsuit and a wrap, and that's it. That's it for swimsuits. So let me tidy up here, start folding up what I am taking, and then, as I said, let's go through to casual clothes. Drop a like! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Say it, you have to say welcome to my channel. Yeah, say welcome. Welcome. Say subscribe. Bye. 
<laughs> very cute. All right, guys, we are back, or I am back. Um, my co-host is back again, doing all kind of things. All right, so one of the things I'm gonna need to pack. Pack out. Yep, come over here. They can't see you. Say it again. Hi guys. Say welcome to my channel. Hey. Yeah. Hey, yeah, headband. Okay, good. Do you know mommy's going away this weekend? Yeah. You do? I do. You're not gonna cry? I do. I do. I do die. Okay. Uh, I die don't know me. Alright, so PJs, um, it's two nights, so I'm going to pack two PJs. So I packed a shorts and a shirt, and a little cotton dress. That's that. When I get there Friday evening, we'll be able to change off. We'll probably have something to... We'll probably have drinks again. So let me see what I have that I'd like to change that into after I bathe. Alright. I'm gonna take this for the Friday evening. Home, mommy. Home. So it's just a like a palazzo pants, and um, they come up high with a little, as if because it's a titty top. Something about this needed to be fixed, but I see some stitching here. Maybe I did fix it. So I'm gonna have to try this on. I believe it wasn't tight enough, so it would just be a midriff top and um, a pants. I'm not trying to sound on camera. I've done enough trying on. Let me look again. Let me look again. Okay, um, my kids need me, so I'm going to watch when we just mess up my camera. All right, going to finish this up really quickly for the rest of my clothes packing. So what I will do is for the the drive down, I have. What was that? Big poop. Big poop. <laughs> Jean shorts yeah. and this nice. Am I wearing a lot of pink this trip? Eh? This nice yeah. um, crop shirt here. Look. And then it will cut down on the amount of shoes I need to pack because I can wear them with those. One thing that I have when I'm packing is my shoe bag. It's by my favorite brand, Henry Bendel. They close down. So I'll just pack all my shoes in there just so that they're not touching everything. Um. So I have something for Friday, Saturday after the pool party. Once everybody bathes and changes, I have something I can put on. It's just a little sexy dress number, but the belly is cut out. So if I don't feel like wearing that, I have pink again. No. Just a, actually, you know, I don't think I want to wear, I want to wear something more flowy. Next thing, if I'm drinking a lot of liquor, I'll be bloated. Let me come down from there. One thing I will take with me is my, is my robe. This is my by the cabana robe. Um, it has like you know the ends are just nice and thin. No, that's Remy. Just that when I'm getting ready, putting Mommy. on makeup. Remy. If I have to run outside for something and I'm not dressed yet in my party clothes and I need to go to the kitchen for some water or whatever, I can put on my robe. So, okay, I think that's that's it for right now. I still need to pack something for just Saturday in the evening, something to drive home in. Um, but I think I have enough little knockabout outfits. I'll also take this with me. I don't know why I love this little top. I love this little top, I love this little top. I'll probably drive home in this. It's just a little tube top with a string. It's, it's so wash out, I love it. From a, from I bought it, I wear it like once a week. So I'll pack another pair of jean shorts and I'll probably travel back in that. I want something a little bit more float away from the body for Saturday um, Saturday night after the pool party. But I'm gonna fold up all of these things and I'm going to pack them in my clothes area and I'm just gonna go and give my children a little bit of attention. Hi guys. Hi guys. Is that what you say to YouTube? Say it again.
I say foolishness? Foolish. Huh? Foolish. Foolishness? That's what I say? Foolishness? That's what I say? Careful on the ladder, okay? Okay. I love that dress you have on. Don't drop. And then another little thing is I try to pack clothes that don't necessarily need to be ironed. I do have a travel steamer, but so this that I, that's Remy. This as I'm driving down in will be the only thing that really needs to be steamed or ironed, and I will um Everything else is just kind of like a lycra blend, so it doesn't need to be ironed because I don't want to pack my steam on. I don't want to have to spend any time steaming. Naughty, mommy. Me? I am not naughty. You better be careful. Yep. I don't know, this dress might be a little bit too sexy, you know. Okay, so I'm going to switch out this little dress here that is kind of, I feel like I could really dress this up and make it look really nice. And it has the tummy opening that I'm sure, you know, after this, an adult look and I'm maybe a little bloated. So. So I'm going to replace it with, even though if I'm bloated, this still will. So I'm gonna replace it with this. I've never worn this and I think it's cute, just like a cute little knockabout. Um, and I think now that I'm a little tanned and maybe over the weekend I'll get like some more color. The yellow will look nice on me. I don't usually wear yellow. And then I'm going to take this maxi dress, this tie-dye maxi dress that I got at Modish Boutique here in Jamaica. So I think that's it for my clothes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to start looking at my cosmetics and looking at my list at what I want to pack. My hair bag. So this is my hair bag, this is all little cosmetic case and in it I have my spray bottle because you need to refresh your hair with water. I have scrunchies, claw clips and elastics. I have bobby pins, black and bronze. And I have, hold on, where are those, where are those other clips? Oh, here they are. These, I don't know, if you have a, a whole heap of hair, you see these three inch, these three inch pins? They're a lifesaver. So I'll just go through my hair bag again just to make sure that I have everything in there that I need. So I'll pack my hair bag along with my brush and my comb. Um, excuse me. Um, things that I need also, tweezers, and I have a pack of travel tweezers that I have in my, I don't know, you know you need to take like a random stray hair, especially if you're going on a beach weekend, you may have a straggler down there. Cotton to wipe on my toner, my face wash, my face brush, my silicone face brush, not the one that Remy has on the floor right there. What else? Um, I take, I always take my own bar of soap because sometimes I find that when you go um, to a hotel or to a guest house, the soaps that they have are highly perfumed and they may not be very good for your pH balance. So I just take my own soap that I know um, works well for my body and for my chuchu. A razor, I have a travel razor blade that's if, in case I need to shave um, while I'm there. My deodorant, my nail bag, I just take like a little nail file. Before when I used to wear acrylics, I would take like nail glue, I'll take like a full nail bag. Um, that's giving, that's, that's freaking me out right now, don't do that. My makeup, I'll pack with remover. Um, panties, bras, my bikinis, my sandals. I, I love that man. My PJs are here, my clothes are here. Panty liners, I'll pack my eye oil, I'll pack floss. Um, did I say toothbrush and toothpaste? A toothbrush and toothpaste, like I said. And I'll make sure I charge my toothbrush before I go. Face creams, my SPF, very, very important to take your sunblocks. I have my body sunblocks downstairs. And Listerine, um, parts of brushing teeth, my jewelry, phone charger, sunglasses, and of course my drinking straw and a pack of Lysol wipes. So once I get all of those things together and I can really see everything on the co What are you doing? Licking the light? You ate the light. No, Remy, don't do that. Come. 
Once I get everything that I just mentioned here on the counter, I'll start packing them into a bag and just kind of, I think I need another pair of shoes or sandals. I think I'm gonna take a close toe pair of shoes, like a pair of Toms or something, like a loafers, just in case, I don't know. Um, you are unpacking everything I just packed up, oh, up there. Up there. Tell everybody goodbye. Oh, bye. <laughs> oh, bye. Let go. All right, I'm gonna get everything together. I did say I was going downstairs to spend time with my kids, right? Right? Hey, you two of them crusty, you know, man? Jeez. Oh, battery running low. Um, let's get my line. Let's do a last little. All right, guys, I'm just getting the, just getting some kind of organization going on here. Um, I found that because I really didn't have a lot of things to pack, that the packing cubes didn't really come in handy. Um, the only thing I did use was, and I don't even think I'll use it, I have one packing cube here, and I put all my swim stuff in there. I do have my own wet bag. This was given to me as a gift years ago, and I think that's where I kind of like got on the whole wet bag train. So it's lined with plastic inside, just in case before I leave um, the cottage, if I want to have a little swim, I can just pack my wet, wet swimsuit in there, and it won't wet up my whole bag. When I go to parties, I like to take with me a hanky just because I do sweat a lot in my face or on my face. So instead of um, using like a tissue that can leave little tissue marks behind, I just use a little hanky. Um, so I'll pack my hanky with me and I'll also pack a fan. Oh, we have a very miserable child here. So I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to go downstairs. I'm gonna go downstairs because that's, that's enough for right now when the kids go to sleep. I put, you know, walk by and I put in a little toothpaste, put in a little this, put in a little whatever, whatever. She's watching ads. Watch my ads. Drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. All right, so that's it for now. Um, when I get more stuff together later, I have a hair on my chin. Alarm. Stop it. Get some help. And then I'm done, and then I'm done, and then I'm done. Okay, so I'm getting all of my um, little you see not that not my compost so I'm getting all of my little doodah dips together um, doodah dips so I have my shampoo um, one thing I always take with me if I don't have a Febreze and I have like a room spray just because you know something I mean I like frows I mean I like frows smell I like frows. and then um, my scar sheets so I always cover my scars before I go in the sun like a perfume my razor all of my cosmetics I'm gonna pack them up and then I'm running out of battery all right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me this week as I pack for my little country weekend, my adult weekend. Um, happy birthday to Twyla. I'm very excited just to kind of like, you know, do adult things and not have to be like, curse a batter and then go, you know, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm all packed up and I'm ready for my weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, more vlog style, you know, like come along with me in the morning. Let me know down in the comments if you like this kind of video, if you want me to do more of these kind of come along with me vlogs um and Lida. i huh Lida. yes and i'll post pictures of my fabulous pig outfit from the weekend all right everybody that was it i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you next week bye